Uh, the most confusing part is probably when college coaches can talk to you, at what times and how much per day, because there's a lot of different uh, regulations for how much they can and cannot talk to you and how many times a day they can call you and stuff. Um, probably a lot of kids ask them this, but like, what's the most important thing for a good college golfer and what they look for while they're recruiting? I always get asked, what are you looking for in a player? Um, you know, and I think it's important for not only what we're looking for as a university, but also what's a fit for the student athlete. The most common is, what do y'all look for? First of all, of course, a little bit of golf. I can, you know, what kind of player they are. The grades, for us, is very important. And then attitude. How do they handle adversity, as it were? When you make a bogey or a double, how do you, how do you come back from it? I think two things is one, of course, shooting as low scores as you can, um, and not worrying about uh, always breaking par or you know getting close to par, but uh, do as good as you can for the the junior golf scoreboard type of ranking, that kind of thing. Because I think personally, I think that gets you a little bit of recognition that way. Um, the other thing is uh, your attitude. Keep your attitude positive. Um, I definitely say academics, and then also. Another thing would probably be like how many sports and other stuff they're involved with. A lot of coaches like like other players that are doing other stuff and keeping their mind off of golf and not thinking about golf 24-7, so that helps too. Well, I guess uh, my biggest question is, is when to get started with the kids. Um, my son's actually junior this year, uh, you know, so I know he's kind of getting kind of late in the process, I guess, but I'm confused as to whether that is really late in the process. Um, just kind of the deadline timing. This is the first time being through this and really understanding when the contacts can be made um, and when the responses need to go back in and that type of thing. I mean it's really on a case-by-case -case basis. Um, I mean the the neat thing is is that it's, it should all be initiated by the player at a young age so if they start to pique an interest in different universities or happen to be playing a tournament um, nearby university they're interested in, I just encourage them to go and take a look and make a visit. And um, I mean, I, I really it's all about the player. Um, so building that relationship with the coaches at a younger age I think helps, but um, at the end of the day it's about their development and finding the right fit for them.